Nitro to me is a daily reminder to not take everything too seriously and that whatever it is that you're doing, enjoy it and have fun. Nitro to me is basically just family. It feels like a family and functions like a family. It's my family. Definitely a family. It's family, fun, and passion. And getting crazy. Nitro is authentic and truly loves snowboarding. It's one of the longest running. Passionate. Very true to the game. Fully committed to snowboarding, like 100%. Nitro, first of all, to me is like a collective of pretty interesting, diverse characters that all have a passion for snowboarding and pretty much like a passion for life in general. There was no plan, okay, let's set it up this way because that's gonna be so amazing in 30 years. It just never happened this way. I really, I really feel humbled every time I see somebody writing a Nitro product. It makes me proud, you know, but it's also, I think we have a certain responsibility to make good product for people that wanna go snowboarding. I feel like it's rare to have a company nowadays that is founded and owned by a snowboarder. We have to always realize that we make product that nobody needs, really needs. We don't make jewelry and watches, but it is luxury products, you know. Nobody straps into their board to be like, now I'm gonna get serious. I mean, maybe Sven Torgren. They were my first sponsor. But everyone else is like, straps in to laugh with their friends, and that's what Nitro's here for, is to provide a platform, an area, an outlet from this crazy world that we live in. The values of the brand really revolve a lot around mutual respect, and that starts with our employees, continues with our partners, suppliers, and distributors, and of course reaches all the way into who is actually ending up buying our products. The fact that we probably have like four to five times more team riders than employees pretty much shows how much we appreciate team involvement. Big ass annoying trips with a million family members. It's the face out there representing the brand, but we mostly also use it for our own inspiration. Like whatever stupid idea I came up with, they always had an open ear. If it's one of the main core assets that Nitro has and that makes Nitro to what it is today. It's everyone's here for the same reason, to promote snowboarding and to help support each other. We never had major layoffs or anything. Like I work now 16 years for the company. We have riders that are longer with Nitro than I am. I've been riding for Nitro since 2001. You know, there is no investor, no big conglomerate behind Nitro. So all the money that we generate by the product we design and sell goes back into snowboarding. Nitro started out being a company that just wanted to build snowboards. And over the last 30 years, I think it's evolved into a purpose-driven brand where the purpose is to help support the community of snowboarding through products, through supporting photographers, filmers, media, distributions in all the 36 different countries, all the shop employees, the retail owners, the people who've dedicated their whole lives in having a store to have a snowboard community. It's our job now to support these people and make sure these communities don't disappear. We just have to just take anybody and everybody that is or wants to go snowboarding, hey, just let's go out and have fun together. Snowboarding is our life and we need this fuel just to keep it going, you know, it's a building process constantly.